الحمد لله الحمد لله على خلقه ورضا نصه وزنة عرشه ومداد كلماته والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا عدد ما حاط بي علمك وخط بي قلمك وأحصى كتابك وأرض على هم عن سادتنا أبي بكر وعمر وأثمان وعلي وعن الصحابة أجمعين وعن التابعين وتابعيهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين إخوة الأفاضل الأماجد الأكارم وفقكم الله لما أحب أوصيكم ونصي بتقوى الله عز وجل فاتقوا وراقبوا واخلص له العبادة يقول الله عز من قائل واتقوا يوما ترجعون في الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون وقوله تلك الجنة التي نورث من عبادنا من كان تقيا معاشر المؤمنين سوف تطرق اليوم على هذا المنبر الشريف حول موضوع مهم جدا ألا وهو تدبرا قول الله تعالى ويؤثرون على أنفسهم ولو كان بهم خصاصا إخوة الكرام فإنه مما لا يخفى على الجميع أن نبينا محمد بعث بعث وأرسل رحمة للعالمين كان صلى الله عليه وسلم عطوفا ودودا رحيما كما وصف ربنا بالمؤمنين رؤوف رحيم يرحم ويعطف ويصاعد ويلاطف ويعطي ويخسر وكان في ذلكم كل قدوة لأصحابي تعلموها وطبقوها في حياتي ومماتي حتى وصفوا في القرآن الكريم بالقرب والإيثار يقول الله تعالى والذين تبوأوا الدار والإيمان من قبلهم يحبون من هاجر إليهم ولا يجدون في صدور حاجة مما أوتوا ويؤثرون لأنفسهم ولو كان بهم خصاصا ومن يوق الشه نفسه فأولئك فأولئك هم المفلحون يقول ابن الكثير رحمه الله عقيب هذه الآية قال تعالى مادها للأنصار ومبينا فضله وشرفه وكرمهم وعدم حصدهم وإيثار وما الحاجة إلى أن قال ولو كان بهم خصاصة يعني حاجة يقدمون المحاويج على حاجة أنفسهم ويبدأون بالناس قبلهم في حال احتياجهم بلا ذلك وقد ثبت بالصحيح عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال أفضل صركة جود مكل وهذا المقام أعلى من حال الذين وصفهم الله بقوله ويتيمون الطعام على حبه مسكينا ويتيما واصيرا وقالوا وآت المال على حبه ومن هذا المكان تصدق الصديق رضي الله عنه بجميع ماله فقال له رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما أبقيت لآلك فقال أبقيت لهم الله ورسوله وهذا الماء الذي أرد على أرد على إكرمة وأصحابه وأصحابه يوم اليرموك فكل منه يامر بدفع إلى صاحبه مثقل أحوج ما يكون إلى الماء فردوا إلى الآخر إلى الثالث الآخر إلى الثالث فما وصل إلى الثالث تامات عن آخرهم ولم يشربوا أحد منهم رضي الله عنهم وأرضاهم وما قصة عبد الله بن مبارك مع الفتاة عند طريق للحج ببعيد أقول ما تسمعون وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروا من كل ذنب إنه كان جفارا الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على مال نبي بعد إخوة الأفاضل جدوا واجتهدوا 
في باب مساعدة الآخرين وفي كل قال والنفيس لعانة المحتاجي وعليكم بالمعاطوة والملاطفة جاء في الحديث عن عبد الله بن عمر بن العاص رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الراحمون يرحمهم الرحمن ارحموا من في الأرض يرحمكم من في السماء أخرج أبو داود والترمذي وصححه All praises and adorations are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The Lord of universe we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We glorify him almighty May peace and benediction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Be upon prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam His household, his companions And those who follow their path till the day of judgment Dear brothers and sisters in Islam May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with everyone of you May Allah increase you in his taqwa and iman Fi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala almighty Serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with you Inshallah our topic today is all about uh, I want us to reflect on one of the verses of Quran Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah almighty says Wa yuftiruna ala anfusin wa law kana bim khasasa the Islamali give some people priority in that they ask. The thing is, the Islamali give, sometimes they will even deny themselves some of their rights because they want to satisfy their brothers in Islam. They want to satisfy the people they are more in need and they will not deny themselves some things. And this verse, it was revealed in Medina where the people of Medina received the people of Mecca. And there was serious enmity and hatred between the two cities then before Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to unite them and to make the, the, what we call a strong brotherhood among Medinas and Makkahs. And Medina people, they were giving their houses. They are giving their houses. They are giving their wealth. They are giving everything that they have. Giving it to their brothers that migrated from Mecca to Medina and Abu Bakr Siddiq Allah Ta'ala he has once given all what he had all his properties to Prophet, to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he emptied his account for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked him that Ya Abu Bakr what did you keep for your family he said that I kept for them Allah and his messenger because the reason why we don't give Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala today it's because we are afraid of poverty. We fear poverty. We don't want to be poor. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Razak. He's our sustainer. He's the one that is giving. He's the one that he, 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 he do enrich people. Not somebody or the way you spend. Man, giving out will not reduce anything from your money. But to see do it is normally increase your wealth. That is the same of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of the companions of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He gave, he hosted one of, his, one of the uh, guests of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to his house Prophet, the person came to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He said, Ya Rasulullah, I want you to host me I want you to feed me Prophet does not have anything, he has his family He said, they don't have anything in their house And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Who among you can receive and host this to our brother in Islam? And one companion is a miskin. He raised his hand. He said, me, I'm going to host him. I'm going to take him. I'm taking him to my house. And when he reached his house, he asked his wife, what do you have? This is a guest of Rasulullah, of Prophet Muhammad, Allah's messenger. Do we have anything to give him? He, the wife said that we don't have anything except small dinner for our children. He said, just make sure that you let those children to sleep without, with hunger. Subhanallah. Who can do that one among us? Some of us, if we are eating, somebody says, Salaamu Alaikum, we quickly even keep it. Subhanallah. That is a look, we are very weak iman. Or some of us, I can want to bring food. My Allah said that, my friend is knocking the door. So what are you eating? Where are you going with, with this kind of stigness? Subhanallah. They must say that, go make sure, make sure that you ask your children to sleep without even taking their dinner. Because I want to give, I want to feed the guest of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when they brought the food, and that food cannot even be enough for even one person to talk to two people. And he has his friend to off the light. 
And the person did not eat. He was pretending as if he was eating with his own guest, but he did not eat at all. And when they finished, the man said, Alhamdulillah. He was so happy. And as he was saying, Alhamdulillah, Allah himself is happy with him, with the person that hosted the guest of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in the morning, before that person reached Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah has already revealed his matter to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You have 10 cars, 10 houses, all this. So nobody is even there except get men. Subhanallah. What will you tell Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala on the day of judgment? You have many chances. See many brothers. They have turned to beggars. Some people are doing fine barra. Some people are doing it in corporate way. Subhanallah. You have to do something about it. And look what happened in the, on the day of uh, this uh, Yermo to Ekrima. Ekrima was testing. He said, I need water. One of the companions wanted to give him water. And another brother, companion of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I need water. Ekrima said, This one is my brother. He's more in need of water than me. And before he reached him, Another person could not even talk at all. He was just demonstrating using his hand, saying, I need water, water, water. Allah Akbar. He also directed the better give it to him. Before the man who reached the third person, he met him dead. And he, he rushed quickly, come back to the second person. He also he has gone. Subhanallah. And he rushed to even rescue the third, the first person, Ikrima. He also died. All of them because of what? Because of strong brotherhood. You, you have two waters, you cannot even give your brother. Subhanallah. Some even prefer to even give it to their dogs. To even feed human beings like them. Subhanallah. And at the level of water, lastly, he was traveling to a hut. And he realized that one of the beds that they want to use as their meal, the thing died. And at the level of water, said they should throw, throw it away. And uh, he saw one lady. The lady just took the bed. Abraham Mubarak said, why? Come, what happened to you? What do you want to do with death? This thing death. He said that you will be taking dead animals for the past three weeks. Allah Akbar. Abraham Mubarak said, I this year, we've been traveling to Hajj. We used normally go every year. This year, we are not going no any Hajj for us this year. What we will do is that uh, just he has his accountant. He said that they re just remove only because he was traveling with about 1,000 dinar, which is equivalent to about 10 million naira. Because he's traveling with many people. He said, remove only the 20,000 naira. The remaining money, give it to her. And her family and her mother and her sisters and brothers. Because for us to give them that money is better than to even perform Hajj. You that is somebody travel every year to Hajj. Or every month to Umura, what are some of your brothers and sisters, whether in Islam or blood brother, they are still suffering? Well, your Umura is not necessary. Sometimes I'm telling you. Sometimes I'm telling you. You have to know what you call fikula awlawiyat, understanding of poverty. Somebody, subhanAllah, somebody, your brother in Islam, he could not pay his house rent, or he's hungry, or he could not pay the school fees, and you, you buy one cloth, maybe 100,000 or 200,000, and you are aware of his matter, subhanAllah. That's what we call fikir of poverty. You must know that. Now it was written by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that these are Rahimun, kind people. The people that is normally help their brothers in Islam. Yerhamun Rahman. Allah Almighty will Allah Almighty will help them. Here I am man for the earth. Help the, the people on this edge. Yerhamu Kuman with Sama. Allah Almighty in Sama will help you and will assist you and will support you. Wallahi dua, one single dua from a poor person that you just gave maybe 1,000 or 2,000 to him or 5,000 era or you buy him one bag of rice. I'm telling you, it can attract millions of money. Allah may jale bala dana Nigeria mirata mutmain da yaati aris ka rogara min kulli makan wa saira bilad al muslimin inna Allah wa malaikata yusallu ala nabi ya ayu alladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allah may salli ala muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbi wa sallama taslima kathira subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifun wa salamun ala al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen